What is going on, everyone? Badger here. Be sure to like and sub, and let's get into this. Uh, on top of all the problems with Tomb Raider, of which there are many right now, not the least of which is their desire to not have her be a Tomb Raider anymore. Forget the body positivity and all the other lies they said, making her ugly and or not voluptuous. However, uh, that's all one part. But now, you know, I'm sure fans will go, well... That's all the newer stuff. We can just ignore that. We can ignore that. We can boycott that. At least we have the older games. And in this case, the Tomb Raider 1 through 3 remastered. Well, this is why everyone is talking about buying physical media. Because when it's digital only, they can still do manipulations. And shockingly, they have now manipulated the game people have already purchased. Rage incoming. And I'm sure there will be a bunch of people defending this. Going, oh, what do you care? What do you care? It's just one little thing. Well, you know what? You're the reasons they get away with all this shit to begin with. So, thanks. Uh, in the instance of a video game developer censoring a post-release launch, a recent update to Aspir and Crystal Dynamics, recent Tomb Raider 1-3 through 3 remastered, has removed a pair of risque pinups featuring series protagonist Lara Croft from the third game's expansion pack, Tomb Raider 3, The Lost Artifact. And I will also see, say this, it's like, when you, especially when you try to play a game that you have played many, many a time in the past, you remember everything. When they take something out, even something as innocuous as some pinup magazines, it's also a larger message of what they are trying to do. Uh, the two pinups in question, both of which are based on promotional renders made for Tomb Raider 3 proper, can be found hung above Lara's scuba gear locker at the start of the game's fourth level, Sleeping with the Fishes. In the first, the buxom heroine can be seen wearing her default outfit and laying against a red velvet background. Kicking the spice factor up just, uh, just a notch, the second pinup depicts a fully nude Lara wrapped seductively in a bedsheet, her body illuminated only by a pair of candles. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. In the initial release of the Tomb Raider 1 through 3 remastered, these pinups could be found on full display in both the artifacts original and remastered graphic setting, their appearance in the former admittedly harder to make out thanks to being composed entirely of pixels and the latter presenting them in their original high definition resolution, as you would want from a remaster. Okay, so that's how they looked originally in the back. Uh, however, as reported by the users on our Tomb Raider subreddit, following the release of the collection's title update 2.0 on April 11th, the pinups, while still present when playing with the game's original graphics, had now been completely removed from the remastered versions of The Lost Artifact. In adding insult to injury, not only were the pinups subject to post-release censorship, <clears throat> but the update's patch notes failed as of this writing uh, as of this writing continue to fail to make any mention of their removal, thus effectively leaving players to be blindsided by the change. No, and I guarantee you this was probably done who was done by someone who was salty that it got in the games to begin with. Someone who calls himself a settler and apologizes for colonialism and is probably a guilty white Canadian woman between the ages of 25 and 45. Don't ask me how that works out. That is how that works out. And so they, when they got the chance, one of the title updates, just remove it. And yeah, you can see they're just gone. And again, this is how they do it. One little offense, one little transgression, and they get closer and closer and closer. And they do it right up to the point where you say something and really get upset. And then people go, oh, what do you care? Bah, 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 bah. And before you know it, they have everything. Before you know it, they have everything. Notably, despite Tomb Raider 1 uh, through 3 remastered, including a boot-up disclaimer that promises players the games herein would be presented in their original form, unaltered, this is not the first instance of censorship found within the collection. Yeah, and they even gave this like guilty little, oh, we're doing it just because this is how it was, but please don't blame us for these inexcusable fun things that were in our game before we all lost our sense of humor. Uh, I've seen in the first Tomb Raider game series protagonist Pierre Dupont sp uh, sports a bomber jacket featuring a pinup style graphic emblazoned upon its back. In the original 1996 release of the game, the graphic in question appearing more as an Easter egg than anything else due to the fact that it's only viewable during those rare moments during a boss fight where the player is able to get behind him features a completely nude blonde haired woman sitting underneath the text Lady Luck and its abbreviation. That's a fun Easter egg. Uh, 
<laughs> However, in the remastered collection, Lady Luck is instead wearing a red bikini. Further, the two red L's, which previously adorned the coat, have been replaced by the Greek symbol for Phi Tau. Uh, uh, it is unknown whether this is a reference to the binary star Pi Tari or Pierre's College of Fraternity itself. Oh, colored red. Okay, this one I'm more forgiving of because I'm sure they will say that once you go from just being like a blob of pixels, uh, pixels to more HD that this would have straight up been a nude, which would have maybe changed their rating or whatever. Like that I'm more forgiving of, but straight up removing the posters and or their uh, remastered version. That's a little stupid. It's a little stupid. And it's what we do. Like I said, these are just, they do a bunch of these small transgressions and then they do the big ones. Let me know what you think of this. Are you, I, I, I would gather most of you that were Tomb Raider fans have already bounced out of this and didn't even buy this because you didn't want to support them. Uh, if you did, well, unfortunately, you might probably be hit with more uh, post-release censorship, but at least confirm now, your posters is gone. Let me know what you think of this. Be sure to like, share, and sub. If you have done that, thank you. If you're going to do that, thank you. And... Well, bye. <laughs>